This process will transfer all your data from your old iPhone onto your new iPhone 16, including Plus Pro and Pro Max versions of the iPhone 16. This process will transfer everything, including your photos, email messages, apps, texts, and passwords. Before you start, make sure that you have your Apple ID and password to hand and that your old iPhone has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on and is also running iOS 11 or later. It's also a good idea to check that the total amount of data stored on your old iPhone does not exceed the maximum storage on your new iPhone 16 or you'll get an error message until you clear out sufficient data. And finally, before you can start this transfer process, make sure that your new iPhone is displaying this hello screen. If it isn't and you already have the home page showing on your new iPhone 16, you can still reset it back to the hello page. And you can do this by going into settings, general, and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone and then erase all content and settings. This will reset your new iPhone back to the very beginning as it was out of the box, but it won't erase any content from your old iPhone. So let's continue with setting up our iPhone 16 so we can start the transfer process. So let's tap on the right hand side button to get the hello screen up and then swipe up so we can select our language and country or region. And now you should get this appearance screen where you can set the size of your text and icons. And for myself, I'm going to leave it on default. And tap continue. Now we can start the data transfer process by bringing our old iPhone next to our new iPhone 16. You should get a set a new iPhone pop-up message on your old iPhone, but sometimes it can vanish. It's quite annoying, but the way to get it back is to switch your iPhone off and then on again and then log back into it. I'm using Face ID, so I just need to swipe up to log back into my iPhone. And then this pop-up message should reappear. Tap on the left hand, your exist previous iPhone, tap on that. I need Face ID, so, okay, let's use Face ID. Okay, now it's connecting. Now it's ready with the pop-up. And now what we need to do now is we need to hold the camera so we can we sit so they can see this gif animation this animation in this window here to set it up you see that hold it the right distance there you go waiting for the other iphone okay continue on your other iphone so so just tap set up for me Finish on new iPhone and uh, type the password that you use to access your old iPhone. Setting up your iPhone. Now at this point in the process, you may be prompted to update your iPhone software. I did go ahead and update the software to avoid any potential issues with the transfer process. But bear in mind, it will take you back to the beginning of this process. Okay. There's all the terms and conditions, so I'll agree to all that. Update requested. So I had to swipe up from the hello screen and go through the first few stages again. I'll quickly skip through them now for you until I got to the enter passcode of your other iPhone. So now let's continue from where we left off and that is enter the passcode of your other iPhone. And then continue. So here we go. So get them side by side. Tap continue. Now we have the face ID option, which I highly recommend because it allows you to access your secure apps like your banking app using facial recognition. So let's continue with that. Let's tap on get started. And now we have to move our head around the camera so that we can complete this circle. Use face ID or mask. Well, we're not in COVID now, so I won't bother. Face ID is now set up, so let's tap continue. And finally, we get to the transfer data from iPhone screen. So let's tap on continue. And now terms and conditions. I'm happy with the terms and conditions, so you just, I'm just going to tap agree. 
and then it's signing in there. And now it's just confirming that we're happy with the settings that we're going to transfer over to our new iPhone. And there is the option to customize your new iPhone if we were to tap on customize at the bottom, but we can always do that later. So I'm going to tap on continue. Turn on location services. Yeah, that is useful. Add card. I'll add it later. It is useful, but I will add it later. No, I'm not going to buy any storage. They will pester you for this, but I'm not going to do that uh, because I have got a extra. I bought extra memory with this iPhone. Uh, this is 256 gigabyte because 120 gigabyte, if you're a YouTuber, is not enough for an iPhone. It is really frustrating. Right, iPhone Attics. I'm not going to share that for now. Solo mode. You can toggle solo mode on and off. To check its control okay it's telling you about the different modes action button press and hold to turn solid mode on off so that's the action button here so you still got that uh, not now let's carry straight on with installing camera control this is the new button here and uh, so it means you get even quicker access to your camera and the camera controls just by using this button here on the side. So that is a new feature which I'll be looking at. So let's continue. Emergency SOS. This is a very good feature because if you were unfortunate enough to have a serious crash, your iPhone will automatically call emergency services for you. Transferring data from iPhone right now. This could take a while actually. I'll probably have to go and get a coffee while this is going so now you need to leave these on now if they've got low battery charge i suggest plugging them into the wall socket because you really do not want to have it to run out of power halfway through because you have to start all over again so and it does say here keep your other iphone nearby connected to power until the transfer is complete now it says here about five minutes that's surprising oh no, it's going up it is going up I'm guessing it's going to be about half an hour, maybe longer. A few moments later. Transfer complete, which was more than a few moments later. It took about 20 minutes, but we got there in the end. Right, so let's check to see how it looks. Restore completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background. So tap and continue. Now we have the option to transfer our phone number over. And here there's a slight difference in the instructions depending on your, where you live. If you're based in the US, then you will get instructions like this, where it will advise you how to set up your eSIM, which is an electronic SIM. But here in the UK, where I live, uh, we don't use eSIMs at the moment. With our iPhones, we use manual SIM cards. So we will follow these instructions, advising us how to transfer a number using a manual SIM card. I'm in the UK, so I'm going to transfer that over later. So set it later in settings. This is Apple Pay and it's asking whether I want to add my credit, debit or store cards to it. Well, I can add my credit card to it later. So I'll set that up later. There you go. So welcome to iPhone. Swipe up to get started. Use this iPhone when sharing your location. You're currently using your iPhone to share location. Yes. So I'm going to, this is going to be my main iPhone. So use. So now it's downloading the apps. So now let's tap continue on our old iPhone after logging into it. Okay. We now get a pop-up message confirming that our new iPhone has been added to our account. So let's tap OK. Now we have the option to erase our old iPhone, which I would recommend to do this if you're selling your old iPhone. But I'm planning to keep my old iPhone, so I'm going to tap on not now. And now we get another pop-up reminder about setting up Apple Pay, but I can set that up later. So I'm going to tap on not now. So as you can see, all the apps have been transferred over 
and everything that I wanted to be transferred there should have been transferred over. I just need to set up my SIM card later because I'm using a manual SIM card. So if you have any questions on this process, please leave them in the comment section below. And in the meantime, if you like this video, please thumbs it up, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.